Because you are number one suspect. Yes, Thank you, sir. You are the one that brought the person because I'm calling police in line. Yes, sir. Where, where are those police? Let them run. I want to see Hello. the three Good police morning. that Good are afternoon. Good evening. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus. How are you doing today? Wherever you're listening to me from, I welcome you to the End Time Truth Television. God bless you. I want you to listen to this um, Holy Ghost Court according to a book of Zion Ministry. Husband and wife, you know, this, this, he has been doing this anyway, but this one is heartbreaking anyway. Um, times we see these things happen, you know, to people, but unless they speak out, you will not understand. Well, um, it is the story of a man and a woman, husband and wife, and it's strange enough, the man is from my village. <laughs> uh, okay, um, yeah, police got involved eventually. I don't know, you know, um, what you will see or how you will understand it, but let us listen to them. The man, the only son, got married to this woman who was into serious business, doing business with white people, but getting married to this man meant that that business crumbled. The whole details are in the video. Now, how Abu Kobe got involved and called police, you know, to intervene in the matter, you would get it inside the video. So let's jump in. Um, we will talk about it a little after the video. God bless you. What is your name and who is reporting the case? And I hope you know we are on air. Hope you know we are online. Tiama, I can only Yes, sir. Uh -huh. What is your name? My and name is Olicho KK. I'm from Imo State. Then married to Anambra. What is the problem? The problem is. Lada, your boss. Since 2017, November 11, we were dead. So I got my first issue then 2018 June. So I lost the baby. So since then, to have issue is very difficult. So because of this reason, every day, the man will be using me as a punching bag that I don't want to give him baby. Put mic on your phone. So the issue keep on happening. So my mom got ill. 2018 so she came over to lagos to stay with me so along the line during that period so along the line my mom came with sickness 2018 so hoping that when i deliver my baby he will stay to omogo so unfortunately i lost the baby so with that sickness so i no, you lost the baby before you deliver or after you deliver the baby died in the womb oh continue so after that period my mom stayed with me that 2018 to 19 2020 so every day we are fighting in the house so along the line there is one day in the night he locked me inside the house be beating me that i don't want to give him child who is, who is beating you my husband the only reason why he's beating you because you don't want to give him a child yes so because I used to complain bitterly that he used to drink, he used to smoke. So I will be keep on telling him all this is how we be insulting him. So along the line, every day, we keep on fighting. One day, mom, 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 in a for marriage. Yeah. So during that period, I was doing a better business. More and attire from China. So he knows about it. I'm doing well in business before we got married. So every day, he said that he wants to start his own business, that he has no money, so I should help him. So He's I, asking you money to start his business? Yes. So Are I, you the one that's supposed to give him, or he's one that's supposed to give him? So he told, he told me before we got married that uh, he has no money to do business. Order. Chereno, order. And uh, continue. So I've, along the line, I said, okay, I will help you so that you will become somebody as holy son. So I see that you don't have any help, but through prayer, God will help you. So we started moving. So first market, it started at Lagos Island with the business. After everything, nothing to show up. When I asked him the money, he will lie for me that the money was in account. Later. So I have to some more courage and check his account. There's nothing inside. You gave him money to start business? Yes. How much? 
The money I did not give him in bulk once. That um, sometimes I will How buy. How much total amount? So amount he lost there in Lagos Island is one point three million. So in Lagos Island. So after that, there is one church we are going then. So there is one church we are going then. Praise, praise the Lord. Order, order. Order, order, order. I continue. So the second time again. So the issue keep on. So I now discover that he doesn't use the whole money. That every time he do business, story will come up. One problem or the other. He will face many things. So I decided to go and meet the woman that the church are worshiping. So I lent the complaint to the woman of God. So he put him in a intercessor so that he will pray himself out. So they will not took him to a mountain, be praying for him, for that nonsense to stop. So along the line, the thing keep on hiding, hiding, no contribution in the family. Uh, so I'm I was sorry, complaining, uh, for just complaining to him. Coming in here, you know, this is one of the problems that we have in churches today. You will hear the story of the man, even though that I will try to uh, translate it from Igbo to English, because he spoke majorly in Igbo. As somebody that has not been converted from his idolatrous background, you know, was immediately introduced into the workforce and made to join the intercessory department. How is it possible that the, the demons working in him or working on him would leave? That is that aspect of deliverance that is very wrong. You give someone that is being led and tormented by the devil, you give him Jesus first. The presence of Jesus alone can drive out, you know, the devils or the demons. Yeah, when... They, when they persevere in tormenting the person, of course, the spirit of the person has been emancipated first. That is when prayer comes in. You don't bring in somebody from outside who doesn't know Christ and you just make him a worker. No contribution in the family. So I was complaining, complaining to his sister. Every day I used to cry. Sometimes we fight. So the last one that happened is the car we got, he will drink. He will carry the car, go out, he will have an accident and come back. Every day he keep on spoiling the car, so I will be the one repairing. So the thing get worse. I have to raise an alarm. Calling my brothers. All of them came. So they now joined the case with his sisters. So they now told me, instead the car will kill their brother. So we have to sell the car. So that they will know whether he had we could down. So we we'll now make an agreement that said I don't have so I park the car and start moving on with my business. So the second chance again, he come and apologize with me with one man of God. I say I will leave this marriage because I didn't see anything good in this marriage. So he and you are the one bringing money. Yes, sir. Both money for food, everything. Because he's not doing anything. He he's lost not, his business. He's not doing anything. Yes. And on top of that, he's still beating you on top. Yes, sir. Because you have no child. Are you continuing? So the second chance again, he now go and beg one man of God. So he now go and beg one man of God again that he should come and apologize to me. He said he come and call one man of God. Yes. To come and apologize to you. He, to, for him to call me back and beg me that he will change. That he didn't know, he really know what is wrong with him. So the man pray with him and call me, say I should come to the church. So I came, the man now pray with us, advise him that he should stay away from all this uh, wrong life. So some of the friends that I used to visit him, I'm the one that chased all of them. Say, any day I meet you with my husband drinking in a beer parlor, what I will do that day, you will not expect it. So all of them keep on running from him. Say, they know one problem. So after the second time, he now begged me with the man. So one woman shot him that... This business, he will go now. He will come back with something. So I now tell his elder sister. Elder sister said, okay, he should come over to Delta and stay with him so that they will be monitoring him because he's only son. So he now went down to Delta to stay with his elder sister. So he now start another business again. So I send one goose again, 300,000. He do business finish the other day. So I'm robber. They wound him when he was coming. So now everything they pray with me along so he will and not so die what let that happen 
So later, the second one now, nah, after everything, so the business, now nah, I'm not meeting up again. So I'm not doing business again with the evil woman I was because there's no money again. So the little cash I have, so I say, okay, let us stay together at Ikeja. So I rented the apartment there. So he starts selling, so I will be seeing him to so know his movement. Then, do uh, you know where one man came from, Bini? So they were doing business. So he carried goods, give the man, supply goods of one million naira to the man. So the man run away with the money till today. So that one, and so I me mean, now say, I will not be doing this again. Let me face my warrant. So the little cash, so I'm the one doing everything now, plus my sick mother and everything. So later, some, the second time again, they poison him. So we will not carry him along with that money. So the money vanished. So the little cash will remain. So we started something at beggar with one kiosk. So sometimes we sleep up there. Sometimes we manage go home because of transport. So along the line, thief now come and break that place and carry everything. So then the car, I manage beg people, they put the car, Corolla. So they put them in order. So all, all this problem now happen. What is now happening? So, so the, the last one, the Corolla. So we say we should sell the Corolla so that we we'll start up life. So after I went to market that day, they have stole all the goods. I say there's nothing. Well, there's nothing again that remains. It's only this car. It's my last hope. So we should be going house. I said, let us be going. He just they drink, they drink. He just went up, carry Bob, break. I said, okay, let me be going. If you like, stay there. If you don't like, come back out. So I called him around after 10. How far are you coming back home? He said, he's coming back home with the car. I said, is there our agreement? But we have made up our mind to sell this car. And we have handed over the key to the mechanic that will hold us to sell the Corolla motor. He said, when he come home, when he come home, so as they enter around after 11 o'clock, I look up, I saw one guy, I didn't even know the guy's name. It, the guy used to come to that beggar sometimes, they would drink a smoke together. So he bring the guy home. So all of us, the guy said, okay, as night, you don't come now. Tomorrow all of us will go to the market. Then they will get it together. So we slept on, this guy enter, pick my phone, pick his phone, carry the car, run away, and lock us inside the house. So I'm now not in the case. I remember to me. Sophia, somebody shout God for you. The worst thing that can happen to you is to marry the wrong person. Anytime you are successful and marry a wrong person, your life will go back. Madam, you are a hard-working woman, doing business with Oyibo, but you enter into the hand of a man. Give him phone. Let me hear from him. Speak, put mic in your mouth. Praise the Lord. My name is Iken Nogeke. I'm from here, local government, from Asia. Which state? Here, yeah, Anambra state. Eh? Anambra state. Eh? Anambra state. It's which state? Tiama. Anambra state. It's not a bear. Anambra state. Eh? Anambra state. No, other state is before long. Imo state. Eh? Imo state. Eh? Imo state. And I'll come back here. Let's hear from you. I did I if you know the weather. I'm saying, Lord, they're right. Say, Lord, they are right. They go for the work. I'm not a bajo. We are bajo. Oh, okay. Come so, like oh. I promised, I'm going to translate what he's saying now from Igbo to English because he spoke majorly in Igbo language. So, he started by confirming to their daddy. He said, Daddy, everything she said here, if I say she's right, if I say she's not right. It is not necessary. I'm a man. There is nothing much in this case. We married as husband and wife since 2017. In the year 2018, God gave us a child. But in the process of delivering the child, she took me to a prayer house. And it was from that prayer house we met. The prophetess gave us prophecy that she would deliver without problem. 
Every time the woman will be prophesying on her and she will be sowing seed. Her wife will be sowing seed, sowing seed every time, sowing seed. She would always bring my wife out and uh, made her the secretary of the church. She was in charge of the whole of the church account. We continued going till she gave birth. After the birth, I reminded my wife that the woman prophesied you are going to deliver peacefully. Now the doctor has confirmed that the dead baby has died in your womb. The, the truth is that uh, before the delivery of the child, we didn't have problem. It was after the marriage, after the delivering of the baby, that we started having problem. Do you understand what the, your wife complained? Your wife complained how you are drinking and smoking and wasting all her resources. That, that there is a place she is going for prayer before. And Ebria Mama is not what your wife complained. I'm trying to lay foundation for you to understand what caused the whole matter. I accept in the first place that I'm at fault. She knows what my problem is. We have gone to several herbalists and many prophets and pastors. We have visited many pastors and herbalists and spent a lot of money and they have said that there is a spirit from my father's compound the masquerade court in my father's compound and they said that they are going to work on me for me to be free even when we traveled to enugu state we spent over three hundred thousand. yet nothing happened at some point in time i told my wife that it's no longer necessary we are not going to anywhere let us face our business. Then the pastor asked him, is it the, the masquerade uh, spirit that is making you to drink and, and smoke marijuana? He admitted, he said that uh, a poor man is like uh, a mobile Satan. Daddy, I'm not beating my wife. Before any day, any day I will see my wife cause a great problem. She is the one causing me because before I go say one, because he's feeding me for house. Before I go talk one word, he, he, he don't talk hundred, hundred. Before I go say, Bishonu. Now this is where I will call this one weeping of sentiment. You see, you know I'm a man, and um, I can understand that uh, there are women when they are feeding their husbands, they try to intimidate the man, they try to you know bruise the man's ego because uh, at the in the moment it's like the man's um, hands are tied. There are no things like that happen. But you don't have to make yourself an irresponsible man. Once you cannot feed your family and you are still irresponsible, you are smoking, you are drinking, and you are not even joining the woman to help her out in the business. And now, so it is naturally going to be like that. There is always a reaction. Even people who are educated and who are gainfully employed, sometimes we know that some women, not all women, some women would, you know, try to rub it on the face of the man that after all, I'm any more than you. And what can you do sort of things? Um, Say that um this thing he's saying here now does not hold water all right if the, the woman knew that he was not having money the woman knew he was poor because he sincerely told the woman about himself and the woman knew what she was going to face and she accepted to marry him now what were you supposed to do as a, a husband you are supposed to brace up well anyway let's just finish it uh we get to the point where the pastor called police for him a lot happened you know, see me trying, my, she's one feeding you. She's that, one buying boxes that, for you. That, that, she's that, one paying for your house rent. Daddy, you are feeding me. That means I'm, I'm a rat inside her. Your, your mother is facing me. Your mother is in my house. I'm, 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 I'm watching God do everything. Do it, what's in every one? I'm in the corner. Do everything for us. Nah, I don't be calling her, but I'm going to talk my rat, my, 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 I don't, I didn't know that he didn't want to see past me. Before I say, money, 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 money. What do you ask for that house? Before I tell you what I say. Where do you see? Where do you see? Where pass you? I don't talk, I don't talk to rack, rack is a My sister in a tea. He is actually accepting that he is beating the woman, but that the woman has turned him into a rag in the house. He doesn't, she doesn't give him respect again. He, is, he does all the things in the house, all the many and works and jobs in the house. He accepts that he slaps the woman. 
because the man does not allow him to express himself sometimes. So he said that the mother-in-law came, the mother-in-law came and was trying to usurp his uh, authority in the house and he drove her away from the house. Paying for house rent, feeding you. He will later kill a man or the all the very bad. The pastor is still emphasizing this on the kind fact of a woman, woman is supposed to celebrate the, her. The woman that does all these things for him and, and then, you know, clothes him and pays for the and house rent for a long and does time. everything. And she's still with you. And on that, he would still slap her and beat her. Man. Like like man. Like this, he was like not doing man. well. Oh my God, I don't want I Google, Give your wife. Did he marry you legitimately? Yes, sir. So, what do you want to do now? So, I'm trying to make my mind go now. Ready, mode. I'm going to go to work here, but. So they have the car, that car that the 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 husband was driving and spoiling. He wanted, she wanted to sell it and put back, pull back into her business because her business has collapsed. Thank you, sir. You are the one that brought the person because I'm calling police nine. Yes, sir. Where are those police that work here? Come. Where are those police? Let them run. I want to see the three police that are working here. Because I want to know why you are the one that brought this person. He took the vehicle and took the phones and ran away. Are you the police Uh-huh. Who can they live on it? Call those police for me. It's a crime. The police are the one that they want to have a look. They are not the one. Okay, let them come. Let them come fast. I don't know why all of them should be inside at the same time. It's not professional at all. Where are others? Uh huh. Oga, see them. You are following them now. You are following them now to the station. I want to know the truth. Truth. Uh huh. Uh huh. Say there is something happening. Uh huh. What is happening is that this man brought a friend his friend and he came to the house and carried the motor of this woman took all the phone woman that is what he said abby yes sir he's the one that brought the person that carried your vehicle the last motor and your phone yes sir uh, uh -huh. so we want to you see the police so now just five minutes you are going to take him to the station if he did not tell me the truth uh, but if he tell me the truth we will know how to have mercy but if he did not say the truth, he will go to station from station to Kri Kri. God bless you. Uh -huh. Just be just be vigilant. I thank God. Uh -huh. What happened? That somebody you brought, somebody you brought inside this house was the one that carried the last motto that this woman have. Okay. Where do you see the person? Where is the person? Okay, sir. That is as clear. If I see me, bro, I'm not sure for now. But be on Sunday here, but last year, but four weeks here, they get to one more here. They far. Tell me, can you cut your quick? Mola, when you are in trouble, now I back with you. I am in trouble. Yeah, what? Well, um, I am going to stop it here, and um, you know, we're going to jump to the concluding part of it. How did the police handle it? What did they could be do? So here we are. We will go inside the office. If I begin to investigate this matter inside of this, I will, I will even investigate it spiritually and physically. Can I manage the minister? Ban up your bug. God bless you of you. In the security, we never gonna allow two of them to have an office. So eventually, actually, he took the matter to his office. I wouldn't know how the matter ended, but 
Now, when I saw this, I was touched. Number one, because I, I was so I was so devastated for the woman. And um, you know, there was a statement that uh, the pastor made there that Ndingweli Kamara, those who have um, that's a book. I don't know how to translate it now. You know, that was the adage of of the dogs, the proverbs of the dogs. You know, the dogs because it doesn't have a backside um, buttocks. It's, it doesn't sit well with the buttocks. So they say that the dog says that those who have good buttocks does, don't even know how to enjoy sitting with it. You understand? Now, there are so many people who would pray for this kind of an industrious woman, but they don't have. There are some men that are, you know, down to pepper and salt. You know, they are responsible for it. And, and I've seen many men like this that don't know how to handle good women. Because I believe that the insult he was complaining about coming from the woman, if he had if he had been responsible at least, and the woman has even tried to set him up, set up business for him, you know, several times he has messed up and useless the money and, you know, come back, return empty. And the woman, you can even imagine a woman do, that could endure sustain until she became, is wrecked. I mean, to the point that she doesn't have any other thing to rely upon if not to sell the, the car, which supposed to be the only valuable thing that she could, you know, fall back on. And at the end of the day, look at how the car was messed up and he brought in a stranger. And you see the permutation there is that he knew what happened to the car. Whether he knew or not, you know, he brought it upon himself. Now the question should be, yeah, we, we are Christians and we don't, we don't believe in divorce, anyhow divorce, we don't believe in divorce. God hates divorce. Yes, that is what the Bible says. Um, I've done so many videos on divorce, so if you want to know more about that, look at it in the channel. I have some of them here. But I want to put back the question to you. If this woman was your sister, if she's your niece, what advice would you give her? If you have this kind of a man as a brother-in-law, what kind of advice will you give your sister? Will you, what will you do to the man or for the man? Now, but um, for me, we, we do seek solution where solutions are not. People have become so religious that when they, there is something in their lives, you know, they just want to get it quickly fixed. Now, like I interjected earlier, the man had issues. And by divination, he was told a spirit of masquerade in his father's house. The masquerade court called spirits in his father's house was the reason behind his misfortunes. That was from divination, okay? Say so it's from prophecy. Let's just say prophecy. Prophecy plus divination, fine. But then to help him, he went to a church immediately and the next thing they could do for him was to throw him into the, 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 the prayer group. And my question is, how does that help a person that hasn't even found Jesus. Did Jesus not say, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness? And all these things shall be added unto you. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. So I think the first thing first is not always done in all these places where the truth, sometimes in ignorance, they don't, they don't know what to do. At times, now you see, on the words of the man, because he didn't, just blab. He said some things that made sense. The woman was, you know, held by the by the prophetess in the church. And you know, because the prophetess has seen that the woman was doing well in business, he could trust her with the church money. Of course, when there is a need in the in the ministry and the money in the purse will not be enough, the woman will easily, because of desperation, would easily support and fill that vacuum, which is good. I've done it several times too. It's not bad. But I want to tell you that the reason why they held on to her and gave her that post was also to hold her down. And so every time she will be called up and will be prophesied to and will be asked to sow seed, sow seed, sow seed. Now, the man revolted when the baby in his wife's womb died, irrespective of all the prophecies and all the seed sowing, because those seed sowing are, you know, responsible for the prophecies. If the prophecies or the prophecies are where we are responsible for the seed sowing, either way, it's the same thing. So several times I've said here, several times, you know, they will hype you. At some point you become emotional. They'll give you all kinds of good prophecies, good prophecies, not from God. 
they tell you their minds, their imagination, their imaginations. Well, not all. At the end of the day, you become emotional. Sometimes you even shed tears. And you are, you know, this woman's own was pregnancy and delivery. But you see, they know also that the man as an only son and the wife knew that her husband was an only son. So that is desperation. Probably the woman has expressed, expre expressed fear. So that became the area to hold down, to give wonderful testimony, I mean, prophecies and support it with seed sowing. You know, like my ways are, I will not tell you to not sow seed. I will not tell you to not give offering. I will not tell you to not pay tithe. And I will not tell you not to support the ministry where you are. But what I will say is that when it becomes witchcraft, the lie, manipulate you in order to get something from you. Run, run, oh, run. May God bless you and give you understanding in Jesus' name. Well, the question is, what advice would you have given to this woman if she happens to be your sister? your niece, your cousin, your aunt. Let us know in the comment section. God bless you. See you in the next video. Till then, from me to you, Shalom. Come back. Every day, keep on spoiling the girl, so I will be the one repairing. So the thing get worse. I have to raise alarm, the business. So the second chance again, he come and apologize with me, with one man of God. I say I will leave this marriage because I didn't see anything good in this marriage. So he... That one bring him money. Yes, sir. Got money for food. But he's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. And on top of that, he's still beating you because you have no child. So you continue. So the second chance again, he now go and beg one man of God. So he now go and beg one man of God again that he should come and apologize to me. He said he come and call one man of God. Yes. To come and apologize to you. So for him to call me back and beg me that he will change. He didn't. He really know what is wrong with him. So the man prayed with him and called me and said, I should come to the church. So I came. The man now prayed with us, advising him that he should stay away from all this uh, wrong life. So some of the friends that I used to visit him, the one that chased all of them, say, any day they meet you with my husband, drinking in a beer parlor. What are we? I know it's dead. This is before long. Wait, huh? No, state. No, state. Well, let me hear from you. It's sweet to the man. My name is Niken Okeke. I'm from any local government from Asia. Which state? Yeah, Anambra State. Huh? Anambra State. Huh? Anambra State. It's which state? Do you know Anambra State. It's not a bad. Anambra State. No state. This is before long. Yeah. No state. No state. Back here, man. Let's see how to go. I think I equally know your weather. So, like I promised, I'm going to translate what he's saying now from Igbo to English because he spoke majorly language so he started by confirming to their daddy he said daddy everything she said here if i say she's right if i say she's not right it is not necessary i'm a man there is nothing much in this case we married as husband and wife since 2017 in the year 2018 god gave us a child but in the process of delivering the child she took me to a prayer house and it was from that prayer house we met the prophetess gave us prophecy that she will deliver without problem. Every time the woman will be prophesying on her and she will be sowing seed, her wife will be sowing seed, sowing seed every time, sowing seed. She would always bring my wife out and uh, made her the secretary of the church. She was in charge of the whole of the church account. We continued going till she gave birth. After the birth, I reminded my wife that the woman prophesied you are going to deliver peacefully. Now the doctor has confirmed that the dead baby has died in your womb. The, the truth is that uh, before the delivery of the child, we didn't have problem. It was after the marriage, after the delivering of the baby, that we started having problem. I'm trying to lay foundation for you to understand what caused the whole matter. I accept in the first place that I'm at fault. She knows what my problem is. We have gone to several herbalists and many prophets and pastors. We have visited many pastors and herbalists and spent a lot of money. And they have said that there is a spirit from my father's compound, the masquerade court in my father's compound. And they said that they are going to work on me for me to be free. Even when we traveled to Enugu State, we spent over 300,000. Yet nothing happened. At some point in time, I told my wife 
that is no longer necessary. We are not going to anywhere. Let us face our business. Then the pastor asked him, is it the the masquerade uh, spirit that is making you to drink and, and smoke marijuana? He admitted, he said that uh, a poor man is like uh, a mobile Satan. Now, this is where I will call this one weeping of sentiment. You see, you know, I'm a man and um, I can understand that uh, there are women when they are feeding their husbands. They try to intimidate the man. They try to, you know, bruise the man's ego because uh, at the, in the moment, it's like the man's um, hands are tied. Yeah, I know things like that happen. But you don't have to make yourself an irresponsible man. Once you cannot feed your family and you are still irresponsible, you are smoking, you are drinking, and you are not even joining the woman to help her out in the business. And now, so it is naturally going to be like that. There is always a reaction. Even people who are educated and who are gainfully employed, sometimes we know that some women, not all women, some women would, you know, try to rub it on the face of the man that after all, I'm any more than you. And what can you do sort of things? Um, it said that um, this thing he's saying here now does not hold water. All right. If the, the woman knew that he was not having money, the woman knew he was poor because he sincerely told the woman about himself. And the woman knew what she was going to face and she accepted to marry him. Now, what were you supposed to do as a, a husband? You are supposed to brace up. Well, anyway, let's just finish it. Uh, we get to the point where the pastor called police for him. A lot happened. He is, a, he is actually accepting that he is beating the woman, but that the woman has turned him into a rag in the house. He doesn't. She doesn't give him respect again. He he does all the things in the house, all the many works and job in the house. He accepts that he slaps the woman because the woman does not allow him to express himself sometimes. So he said that the mother-in-law came. The mother-in-law came and was trying to usurp his uh, authority in the house, and he drove her away from the house. The pastor is still emphasizing on the fact that the woman, the, the woman that does all these things for him and um, you know clothes him and pays for the house rent and does everything, and on that he would still slap her and beat her like he, he was not doing well. He was not doing well. So they have the car, that car that the, 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 the husband was driving and spoiling. He wanted, she wanted to sell it and put back, pull back into her business because her business has collapsed. Okay, let them come. Let them come fast. I don't know why all of them should be inside at the same time. It's not professional at all. Where are others? Introducing the Al Delano Sword Code, a portable on and off poster. Uh -huh. I can see them. You are following them now. 
<laughs> you are following them now to the station. I want to know the truth. Truth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, there is something happening. Uh -huh. What is happening is that this man brought a friend, his friend, and he came to the house and carried the motor of this woman, took out the phone. Woman, that is what he said, Abby? Yes, sir. He's the one that brought the person that carried your vehicle, the last motor, and your phone. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So we want to you see the police. So now, just five minutes, we are going to take him to the station if he did not tell me the truth. Uh, but if he tell me the truth, we will know how to have mercy. But if he did not say the truth, he will go to station from station to Kriki. God bless you. <laughs> just be just be vigilant. I thank God. <laughs> what happened? That somebody you brought, somebody you brought inside this house was the one that carried the last motto that this woman had. But where do you see the person? Where is the person? Okay, sir. That he has here. He passed the Bible. I'm not sure for now, but I'm be on Sunday here. But that's here. But four weeks here, they get to one more day. They pass. Yeah, my grandma, push your quicker. Well, I want you. Well, um, I am going to stop it here, and um, you know, we're going to jump to the concluding part of it. How did the police handle it? What did they do? Could be do? So here we are. So eventually, actually, he took the matter to his office. I wouldn't know how the matter ended, but now when I saw this, I was touched. Number one, was I, I was so I was so devastated for the woman. And um, you know, there was a statement that uh, the pastor made there that Ndingweli Kamaran or those who have um that's a book I don't know how to translate it now. You know, that was the adage of of the dogs, the proverbs of the dogs. You know, the dogs because it doesn't have a uh, backside um, buttocks it's, it doesn't sit well with the buttocks so they say that the dog says that those who have good buttocks does don't even know how to enjoy sitting with it you understand now there are so many people who would pray for this kind of an industrious woman but they don't have there are some men that are you know down to pepper and salt you know they are responsible for it and they might, and i've seen many men like this that don't know how to handle with women because i believe that the insult he was complaining about coming from the woman if he had if he had been responsible at least and the woman has even tried to set him up set up business for him you know several times he has messed up and useless the money and you know come back return empty and the woman you can imagine a woman that could endure sustain until she became is wrecked i mean to the point that she doesn't have any other thing to rely upon if not to sell the, the car, which supposed to be the only valuable thing that she could, you know, fall back on. And at the end of the day, look at how the car was messed up and he brought in a stranger. And you see the permutation there is that he knew what happened to the car. Whether he knew or not, you know, he brought it upon himself. Now the question should be, yeah, we, we are Christians and we don't, we don't believe in divorce, anyhow divorce, we don't believe in divorce. God hates divorce. Yes, that is what the Bible says. Um, I've done so many videos on divorce, so if you want to know more about that, look at it in the channel. I have some of them here. But I want to put back the question to you. If this woman was your sister, if she's your niece, what advice would you give her? If you have this kind of a man as a brother-in-law, what kind of advice will you give your sister? Will you, what will you do to the man or for the man? Now, but um, for me, we, we do seek solution where solutions are not. People have become so religious that when they, there is something in their lives, you know, they just want to get it quickly fixed. Now, like I interjected earlier, the man had issues. And by divination, he was told a spirit of masquerade in his father's house. The masquerade court called spirits in his father's house was the reason behind his misfortunes. That was from divination, okay? Says so from prophecy. Let's just say prophecy. Prophecy plus divination, fine. But then to help him, he went to a church immediately and the next thing they could do for him was to throw him into the, 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 the prayer group. And my question is, how does that help a person that hasn't even found Jesus. Did Jesus not say, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness? 
and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So I think the first thing first is not always done in all these places where the truth sometimes in ignorance they don't they don't know what to do at times now you see on the words of the man because he didn't just blab he said some things that made sense the woman was you know held by the by the prophetess in the church and you know because the prophetess has seen that the woman was doing well in business he could trust her with the church money of course when there is a need in the in the ministry and the money in the purse will not be enough the woman will easily, because of desperation, would easily support and fill that vacuum, which is good. I've done it several times too. It's not bad. But I want to tell you that the reason why they held on to her and gave her that post was also to hold her down. And so every time she will be called up and will be prophesied to and will be asked to sow seed, sow seed, sow seed. Now, the man revolted when the baby in his wife's womb died irrespective of all the prophecies and all the seed sowing because those seed sowing are you know responsible for the prophecies if the prophecies or the prophecies are where we are responsible for the seed sowing either way it's the same thing so several times i've said here several times you know they will hype you At some point you become emotional they'll give you all kinds of good prophecies good prophecies not from god they tell you their minds their imagination their imaginations were well, not all at the end of the day you become emotional sometimes you even shed tears and you are you know this woman's own was pregnancy and delivery but you see they know also that the man as an only son and the wife knew that her husband was an only son so that is desperation probably the woman has expressed expre, expressed fear so that became the area to hold down to give wonderful testimony i mean prophecies and support it with seed sowing you know like my ways are i will not tell you to not sow seed i will not tell you to not give offering i will not tell you to not pay tithe and i will not tell you not to support the ministry where you are but what i will say is that when it becomes witchcraft the lie manipulate you in order to get something from you Wawapa, run run oh run may god bless you and give you understanding in jesus name well the question is what advice would you have given to this woman if she happens to be your sister, your niece, your cousin, your aunt? Let us know in the comment section. God bless you. See you in the next video. Till then, from me to you, shalom.